Hey everybody, Crappy the Craps Man here. Um, I've got a strategy I call the Falling Pyramid. And basically what we're doing is building up this way. Uh, if a 8 is on, or 6, we'll do 30 here on each of them. If uh, 10 and 5, because we're going to hedge down here. I'll show you how we're going to do that in a minute. And if a nine's on, we will do uh, 30, 25, because uh, we can hedge more over here, and then 10 here. And if the 10 or four is on, then we're gonna put uh, 60 in the middle, 25, 10. And uh, every time we hit, we're gonna pull it down and cut it about in half. Um, you know, that's the way I like to play. I'm more get it up front. But we're going to play the pass and the don't pass. We're going to put 50 on each. And uh, we're going to hedge it every time. The only way we can lose this is on the pass line with the perhaps 12. So we're going to hedge it with $2 on every, every come out roll. Um, the reason I'm doing that is I really don't like the pass and the, the back and forth stuff. And losing the money here, I want it to be safe, but I still want to lay odds on here for a hedge. And I know the odds are for a pass line like for the four and that's about half so it makes it a little tougher but it seems to work i've got a 500 dollars bankroll oh and by the way this pile over here is tapping on this is in this i took it out of that pile but i've been playing with the uh <clears throat> reverse press method and uh also i posted a new one today um uh with the six and eight and anyway, this is what I've come up with. I've been playing around this to come out every once in a while till sun, since Sunday. Not to say it hasn't went down, but it builds it up now to about 5,000 bucks. So hopefully I can turn that by the time I can get to the casino. We'll see what happens. But anyway, let's get it come out and you'll get a better feel for what we're doing here when we go. Today, I'm still up in the air about the dice set. I say that every time. I don't know if dice setting helps, but I'm trying, I'm learning, I'm going, but today I'm trying a new one, and it's the 4224. That's what I'm trying today. But let's get a come out roll. And let's put our $2 hedge, hedge in our 12 for these. This over here, that'll pay me 60. I've got 50 then at risk, so I'd make $10 if I get a 12. Snake eyes. Don't help me. I'm gonna have to. It's gonna cost me four dollars now to cover it. I think it's worth it. You might just let it ride, but um, this new dice set might be a challenge for me. I'm not used to setting this one. I just started with it today. Oop, low roll. That puts me a nine on. So. With the nine on, we're gonna go 30 here, 30 on six and eight, 25 here, 10 here, and we only got a little bit of money left here. We're just gonna hedge it for 100, which only will pay us, uh, oh yeah, what's the odds on that? I'm not a dealer. Seven for ten. Okay, we'll put, so I pay a seventy, which is hedging most of this. All right, we lost this right here. I have some trouble with odds sometimes figuring it out. I do the best I can. So if I ever pay myself wrong, that's just how it goes. All right, there's eight. Starting out, pretty good. Gonna pay me 35. We're gonna take the eight down to 12 because we hit it. And we're gonna pull one unit off of our hedge just in case. Did you get that? We took one unit down off of our hedge, so now we're at 75. Five. 
35. Maybe another 35. Okay, we're halfway home. I think I'm just gonna pull my hedge down all the way. I might regret that in a few minutes. But I also regret it if I hit a nine. Nines are easy to hit. We're gonna regress this down. What we basically wanna end up with is all red chips up here, and that means our pile over here is nice and healthy. Let's see, I am having a struggle with this dice set. Let's see. It's close to the wall, but that's a 10. 10 is gonna pay me 18. All right, so we're gonna cut that down to a red chip. And yeah, I play, I know most craft tables don't play the blue chips with the 10s, but I do. I like the 10. I like having the 10 in there. Okay, 4-2. Where's my other 4? Spin her around here. There she is. So far, I like this dice set. Except for, oh, wait, I still like it. It's a 6. Nice. 5-1-6 right here. 6 is going to pay us 35. We're gonna cut that baby down. This is like just making extra money in my opinion, except for on a long roll now. There's some of you guys that are saying, oh gosh, you're getting rid of all your... My goal is to give back as little as possible. That's the way all of my strategies have been, and it works for me. It really does. See the evidence right there? There's a lot more at risk at first, but... That was a good 12. That was a four. And that's gonna pay me 18. We're gonna reduce that baby down. I'm liking this set so far. I've even not been hitting my target goodness. Seems to be forgiving. Or luck is on my side. I'm, just, I'm gonna figure this out one day. There's an eight. Eight's nice. What do we got on our eight? That's gonna pay us 15. So we'll take, we'll take, or 14, I'm sorry. We'll take that and pay them back one. We're gonna reduce this down to six. We still ain't hit that nine yet. That's the last one we gotta hit that we went through them all. Let's see. There we go. Flip them around. This thing's awkward to me. I don't know why. There's midnight. 12. Not hurting us. What I'm liking is I've got 100 bucks sitting here on the pass line and don't, and it's totally not at risk. Nothing can happen to it. They look at you funny if you want to bet on both of them, but they'll get the point right away. There's a six. We're reducing down that. We're going to get paid 14. I'm going to drop one back. We're going to reduce that six down to six. Okay. We still ain't. We hit that nine. We're getting close here to red chipping it down. When I get to red chips, I just kind of leave them there or we can start pulling them down. Let's see. Gosh, it's a complicated point. Here we go. There's another six. All right, that's going to pay me seven bucks. I'm putting it over here in the pile. It's going along nicely. Where's that nine at? We need that nine. We need that nine. Let's get that nine out of the way. Come on. Here we go. There's cracks three. Not helping me. Here we go again. I'm gonna make him my target.
that on it. That's a six again. Roll a lot of sixes with this thing. Now, I know you guys are saying, okay, if you had all this money out there, yeah, but that seven popped up, this has been an exceptionally long roll. We like it. Crappy's happy. There's another six. Man, we're wearing out the sixes. We are wearing them out. Piling it. My pile's getting in disarray over here. just started throwing this. I threw it a couple times before I came on here. <coughs> and now I have, still haven't quit smoking. Still coughing. There's another six. I am digging it. There's seven. We'll just pile up all the sevens. Now if we, we still ain't hit a nine. We still got a five to clean off over there. This pyramid is going down the way it's supposed to. There's the craps three, not helping me. I'm really liking this dice set so far. I might hate it later. Might just be getting lucky. Could be the dice gods are in my favor. Hit the target, and there's a seven out. Okay, let's see how we came out here. Our, what we had left in, out here was, let's see, 30, 40, 50, 64 dollars. 64 dollars going in the bank. And I like to do a per roll kind of thing, even when I lose. But let's see, let's see what we came out with. And we lost 60 something. So, what do we make? We got a little change here, too. We made about 140 bucks. 130, let's see, somewhere in there. I'm still very happy with that. Crappy is happy with that one. Let's see if we can get another good roll. We never did hit that nine. Never did. All right, we're going to come out. We're going to put $2 over here to protect our uh, pass and don't pass. Eight. Didn't need our two dollars, but there it goes. All right, eight is on. So with the eight on, I really don't bet a whole lot because I don't, I don't hedge the eight. I don't want to bet against the eight, so I'm just playing it very, very minute here with the eight on. And we're still going to regress it down. So what do we got at risk out here? 60, 70, 80 bucks. Struggling just I said. Let's do this. Ooh, close roll there. That's a seven out. I hit that dice hit right there. There again, I don't know if it mattered or not. That took away from our glory. Winning on the last. So we lost 80 bucks on that. We're gonna do our two dollar drop here. We're off. We're gonna come out. Four. All right, let's see if I can get on target this time. That's five. All right, let's see this here. So with that, we're gonna go with uh, this uh, right here. So we're gonna go 10. 
Sometimes I put a five over here and a ten there, but I'm gonna I'm rolling with this one this time. Uh, we're gonna put a hundred dollar hedge out here. That's an awful lot against a five. And I hit fives last time. I'm still gonna do it. Every time I hedge, it just seems like it bites me in the butt. There's the old 11. Doesn't help us. Okay. Seven out. So that pays me 70 bucks here. We'll take 75. And we'll put five in the bank. Okay, so that squares us up here. So we ended up losing 35, 45, 45 bucks. So we lost everything that we won and then some. So far, my rolling hasn't been that good with this. All right, here we go. We're going to hedge this up here. Let's get a four. If we've got enough money to play. Here we go. I'm sticking with this dice set. There's a 10. All right, I like the 10. The problem is, I'm going to be short money to hedge with. Okay. So on this, we're going to go. It's going to give me 50 of that back. We're looking thin over here. you got to keep in mind, though, with our $500, we've got $100 over here on it for the hedging money. All right, we need a good roll this time. Felt like that was a good target, and I hit the four. that middle I need to hit the Ooh, it went high there's a nine six three nine it's gonna pay me 35 I'm gonna cut my hedge in half I'm concerned about it popping up in there and taking my money away. A little low throw. Gave me an eight though. That's good. It's gonna pay me 70. All right, we're gonna pull our hedge away completely. I'm gonna knock that down to 30. I hit last time. I forgot to drop it down. I remember what I hit. Oh well. Got to keep up with it. Come on. Give me an eight. There's a four. One, three, four is going to pay me nine. Ten, drop a one. Can't reduce that one no more. Come on, two. What are you waiting for? This, sorry about this dice set. I'm just not used to it. There's a ten. All right, we hit the point. Good thing we took our hedge off. 
hard way. Alright, that's going to pay us 18. Coming out. I'm going to drop this down. I'm going to drop my two dollars over there. I don't want to forget that as soon as I do. Five. Five is the point. I keep my bet, my stuff off. You know, the come outs. I like the little break in there. Maybe the seven will roll in those times. Two, four. Four, two. God, this thing's tough on me. Okay. A little close to the wall and gave me a seven. Seven out. All right, let's see what we did here. 25, 35, 40. About 150. We ain't got that in here, I don't think. But I'm glad I took my hedge off. 75, 100. Yeah, we about broke even on that roll. Let's see where we're at here. Give this system a ranking. I don't think it came out too, too promising. We only got, we had that one long roll, then a bunch of crap after that. So we got one, two, three, four, fifty. Yeah, we lost a little bit on that, probably about forty bucks or so. It was still fun, but trying something new. Thanks for watching. Crappy says, don't crap out. <laughs>